Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the PY question series. Today we will discuss about diagonalization and the Jordan block problems. We will cover all those questions from the CSR net related to the year 2011 to 2023. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can simply follow this my YouTube channel where you will find the playlist of the CSR UGC net. You can see the PY question series on the sequence series, quadratic form, continuity statistics and all about in this single playlist from the last 13 years you can see about the shortcut trick. So what will we do? We will see the PY questions and as well as the shortcut tricks of the part B and the part C related to these two topics. We will cover the 45 plus question in this video so that you can learn it very, very simple manner. So before I start with the PY question, let me tell you a simple, unique approach or I can tell you the simplest tips how you can approach on these two topics. So first of all, if you want to prove any of the matrix is said to be the diagonalable if you can provide you can prove either of the following four points firstly if you prove that the i all the eigenvalues of the matrix a are distinct then it is a diagonalable if you prove that if all the values of the eigenvalues of a are distinct and real then it is diagonalable over real number and if you prove only the eigenvalues are distinct then you can see it's a Eigen, it's a diagonalable over the complex field. Secondly, if this is the first method, second method is if you prove that uh, this matrix A has n linearly independent eigenvectors, or if you prove that algebraic multiplicity as well as geometric multiplicity of each eigenvalues where lambda i's are my eigenvalues. And lastly, if you prove that the minimal polynomial is of the linear factor, like this is my linear factor, while this is not a linear factor. So if the minimal polynomial of any matrix A is come to be here, which is not a linear, so therefore it is not diagonalable. Also, if you prove that the sum of the dimensions of the eigenspace, basically this is nothing but the geometric multiplicity of the eigens value. If you prove that the geometric multiplicity of the sum of the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue is the size of the matrix, then again it is a diagonalable. And if you prove that the number of the Jordan blocks are n, how you can find the number of Jordan blocks, we will see at this column. Also, if you prove that the matrix A is diagonalable, then the inverse, transpose, scalar, addition, any of the polynomial of the A are also diagonalable. But if you have the two matrix A and B are diagonalable, then some difference product may not be a diagonalable. On the other hand, what is the meaning of the Jordan block? The diagonal entries are my eigens value. You can see the diagonal entries are eigenvalue. And the value which is just of these values in the row is my 1. Any of this block is called as the Jordan block. Then the number of the block corresponding to the each eigenvalue is nothing but the geometric multiplicity. So if you find the geometric multiplicity of this lambda, if it say it's a 4, then the number of the uh, blocks corresponding to this eigenvalue must be Four. Then, if you find the nullity of the linear transformation, that is define the number of the Jordan block corresponding to eigenvalue zero. And if you find the minimal polynomial of this, what is the meaning of the M1? It means there is at least one Jordan block of M1 cross M1 with eigenvalue lambda one, and all the other blocks have value less than or equal to M1. So I will use this much and all these points with the help of simple techniques. So you can see with the, with the help of these simple tricks, I can solve 45 plus question in this lecture. So you can join, uh, you can scan and join my WhatsApp group. You can simply scan this and join my WhatsApp group for the various discussion. So let's start with this one. It start from the December 2011. Your target is to find the Jordan canonical form. So first of all, if you find the trace of the Jordan canonical form, it must be the same as that of the matrix A trace. So you can see the trace of this matrix is my zero, but you can see the trace of this is non-zero. So this is cancel out. Trace is not cancel out. Fine. So these two options are cancel out. Now look at these values. So the diagonal values are minus one, one, two, minus two. So all are my distinct eigenvalues. 
fine so once it's a distinct eigen value then only the diagonal entries are there and because of this option it is a cancel what when the one appears if one appears if this value and this value are same if it is a minus one then it appears but in the right now there is there is a distinct eigen value so this is the right answer of this problem and you can see without the calculation you can solve by discarding the options so look at this another one uh, consider a positive integer n cross n so always as i mentioned you in my all previous lectures you always take the value of the n as per your own convenience so since n is greater than or equal to 3 so i can take n is my 3 then your a will be i minus j over 3 what is my i i is the identity matrix j is the matrix which consists of all the values are my 1 1 1 now whenever there is a matrix whenever there is a matrix associated you always try to find the eigens value what is the eigen value of the i it's a 1 1 1 what is the eigen value of the j so you can see it's a 3 0 0 so can you find the eigen value of the a it's a 1 minus 1 0 1 1 fine so what is the meaning of that these are my eigens value so our target is to say which is not true so what is the meaning of that what is the determinant of a is a zero a is invertible is my false statement fine what is the trace of the matrix a you can see the trace is my two i can return this as n minus one because n is my three so this is my correct statement what is the rank of the a so number of the non-zero eigenvalues are my two so rank is my two what is the rank of the i minus a what is the eigenvalue of the i minus a so it is a one 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 what is the eigenvalue of the a is a zero one one so eigenvalues are my one zero zero so the eigen rank of this is my one so two plus one is three it is also my correct statement how you can prove for every positive it is a case so if i choose k is equal to one it's satisfied because there is no restriction on the k if you choose k is my two it is a a square is my a so what is the eigenvalue of the a square eigenvalue of the a square is still same as of this so this is also the correct statement but our target is to find the false statement right answer is my d is the correct answer i always tell you whenever there is a matrix try to think on the eigens value okay so first of all n i can consider as a 2 so it's a 2 cross 2 what is the meaning of the a square is 0 it means a is my nilpotent matrix so always remember nilpotent matrix is not diagonalable fine or you can say a non zero nilpotent matrix will never be a diagonalable but he said he is a diagonalable it's a cancel up look at this one a square is equal to i what is the matrix of a a is called as idempotent matrix and what is the tips for you idempotent matrix is always diagonalable over real and the complex but he said a is diagonalable over the real number so that's true because it's both r and c what is the a square is a this is the call as a square is a is involuntary matrix fine so whenever there is an involuntary matrix then this is a diagonalable for both r and c but he said only so this is the cancel out the only matrix of size 2 because i consider n is 2 is of correct have satisfying the characteristics polynomial what is the meaning of that can you think about any of the two matrix a and b can you think such that they are not same but the characteristics polynomial of a is same as characteristics polynomial of b you can easily think about that if i consider these two elements are there what is the characteristics polynomial lambda square minus one if i consider this then again the characteristics polynomial same but they are not always equal but he said it is always the only matrix so this is also a false statement right answer is my b is the correct option which of the following is not diagonalable? You can see what are the eigenvalues? 1, 2, 3. They are the distinct eigenvalue. 
so yes this is a diagonal bulb but we need a not so this option is cancelled this is the triangular matrix uh, unique eigen values or you can say the distinct eigen values so it is again not look at this one eigen values are 1 1 and 2 so i can found the algebraic multiplicity of 1 is 2 can i find the geometric multiplicity of 1 the size of the matrix is 3 minus rank of a minus lambda i lambda is my 1 so what is the a minus i 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 So what is the rank of this matrix? Rank is my one, so it is a three minus two. They are same. Algebraic multiplicity of one is same as that of the geometric multiplicity of one. Also, because this the uh, this is a single element, so it is also same. So what is the meaning of that? This matrix is my diagonal bubble, but we need a not, so this is cancel. This is the right answer. You can also see the eigen values are my here. So what is the geometric multiplicity of one? So three minus rank of a minus lambda i. So zero one zero 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 one. Rank is my two. So three minus two is one. So it means they are not same. Algebraic multiplicity of one is two, which are not same. So it is not diagonal. So that's why this answer is C is the right answer. Which of the following is not diagonal? You can see uh, what is that? What is the eigen values of this? Eigen values are my two and zero, which are unique. Fine. So it means this is a diagonal bubble. So this option is cancel. What are the eigen values of this? You can see it's minus five, four, minus six. So clearly says the eigen values are my unique eigen values. Fine. So it means this is a diagonal bubble. You can see about here the eigen values are two, two, and three. So algebraic multiplicity of two, they are two times. I can found the geometric multiplicity of this. So three cross three, rank of a minus two i. I can subtract the two from this. This zero one zero 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 zero. What is the rank? What is the rank of this? Is two three minus two is one. So geometric multiplicity of two is one, which is not as of algebraic. It means it is not diagonal. Since it's a part B, only one correct option. But I will check for you as here. Algebraic multiplicity of three is my two. What is the geometric multiplicity of three? So you can find it's three minus. I can subtract a minus three i. So it's a minus one one zero. Zero 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 zero. So the rank is one, three minus one two, which is same as of algebraic multiplicity three. So this option is also cancel out. So the right answer is my A is my correct option. Okay, look at this another one. Uh, three cross non-zero matrix such that n cube is my zero. What is the meaning of that? N is my nil potent matrix fine if n is my nil potent matrix it means n is my not diagonal bubble fine as i mention you every non zero nil potent matrix is not diagonal bubble fine and it is given that it's a non zero so is not similar to the diagonal matrix the correct option A is similar to the diagonal matrix, but it is not a diagonal matrix. It's a cancel out. Fine. Then with n is a non-zero eigen vector, linearly independent eigen vectors. So basically, you are talking about the geometric multiplicity of the eigen values. What is the meaning of the geometric multiplicity? You can define the nullity. How you can count the geometric multiplicity? You can define the nullity. Okay, so that is a very simple. You can can you find the minimal polynomial of x cube is 0 because this is my x cube so either x either x square or x cube but x is can never be because it's a non zero because if x is the minimal polynomial then n will be a zero but n is a non zero so therefore the minimal polynomials are either x square or x cube fine then if this is there what is the meaning of that rank of this matrix 
of this matrix is lies between 1 to 2 because why not 3 because n cube is my 0 so what is the meaning of that determinant of n cube is 0 so rank will be less than of 2 and also it's a non zero so the rank must be at least 1 so if rank is there what is the dimension is 3 what is the nullity of this so it is a what is the nullity so 1 is less than nullity of n is less than of 2 also fine 3 minus 2 1 3 minus 1 2 so what is that what is the meaning of this there is a maximum number of li vectors fine so maximum number of the li vector is 2 but he said n has 3 li vectors this option is cancelled out n has one non-zero eigenvector yes because it has at least one vector so this option is correct option so a and c are my correct answer of this problem look at this another one m2 denotes the set of two cross two matrices a matrix a such that trace of the matrix is my two determinant is my minus three identify the following two. okay can you find the eigenvalues of this it is minus of two trace minus of this is zero so what are the eigenvalues eigenvalues are my three sorry uh, determinant is my minus 3 so how you can find it so it's a minus minus so it's a 3 and minus 1 fine so you can see these are my unique eigenvalues now consider that transformation t of b which is equal to a b so since this is my unique so you can say the matrix a is my diagonable once the matrix A is my diagonable, then you can write this as of this value. Fine. Then you can define the matrix B. Fine. It's a M2. So what are the basis of the M2 elements? What are the basis of the M2 element? 1, 0, 0. Fine. 0, 1, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 1, 0. And then 0, 0, 0, 1. So I consider this is my E1. This is E2. This is E3 e4 so what is my basis of this e3 so what is that it's a first element corresponding to this is 3 0 0 0 corresponding to e2 i can return this number as that is a, if i multiply this matrix 3 0 0 minus 1 into 0 1 0 0 so first element is 0 next element will be 3 next element will be 0 it's a 0 fine then uh, is it correct is a 0 0 3 0 0 0 and this next if i consider this element that is if i multiply this by 3 1 0 0 first element will be 0 what is that it's my 0 then it's a 0 it's my minus 1 it is my 0 sorry uh, i did it wrong you how you write how you can write these are the basis of elements the third element will be my minus 1, rest elements are my 0, fine. And what is our E2? If you, if I subtract, if I multiply this by 0, 1, 0, 0, it will be my 0, 3, 0, 0. How you write that? Yes, it's a 3, 0, 0. And similarly for my here, fine. Now, T is my diagonal, 2 is the eigenvalue, 2 is not the eigenvalue. What is that? 1 is the eigenvalue. 1 is not the eigenvalue. Is the matrix T is invertible? Is that T is invertible? Yes, you can see that the determinant is a non-zero. T is a diagonable. Yes, you can see because this is the Jordan block of this value. So this is the A and C are my right answer of this problem. Okay, look at this again a non-zero matrix such that A square is my zero. What is the meaning of that? A is my nil potent if a is my nil potent it means a is my not diagonal fine so is a diagonal so this option is cancel out now how you can approach that so it's a nil potent is there so what are the eigenvalues now you have to distinct eigenvalue what is that this is a one eigenvalue so this is option cancel why because one is 
nor the eigen what is the eigen value of the nilpotent matrix zero and zero are my eigen values so a has the one eigen value in c with the multiplicity 2 one one eigen value that's a zero is the eigen value with multiplicity 2 is the correct option a has the two distinct eigen values that's again a cancel out because it has only eigen values is my 0 comma 0 so the correct option is c is the right answer okay consider the linear transformation here which of the following is a diagonal and then so on find the determinant okay you can consider the basis of the r cube uh, e raised power 7 i can consider and so on these are my basis while what is the e1 is 1 0 0 up to 0 fine so can you define the matrix corresponding to this this is my e1 e2 e3 up to e7 so if i substitute e1 what is my t of e1 that is a 1 0 0 so this value will be 0 0 0 1 so that is 0 0 3 4 5 6 7 if i consider e2 that is my 0 1 0 0 the second second last element will be my 1 then the third element will be 1 fourth fifth sixth seven rest all values are my 0 so what is the determinant of this it's a minus of 1 t is a determinant is 1 cancel fine t is now uh, how you can prove that it's a diagonal matrix or not you can clearly say that it's a symmetric matrix it's a real plus symmetric matrix what is the meaning of that it is my diagonal matrix so once is a diagonal matrix it will be here t raised power 7 is my i and the smallest n such that it will be is my e1 okay we can start with the firstly t square what is the t square of x1 is i can return as t of this fine what is the value of this it is my x7 x6 up to x1 so again i can apply this definition it's a reverse so x1 up to x7 so what is the meaning of that it means t square is my i so you can see that this satisfy n is even because t of 1 is not equal to i so t square is equal to i this is correct now t raised to power 7 so if i do cubing on the both side i cube is again i if i multiply on the t on the both side t square is my t but he said t square is my i this option is cancelled b and d are my correct option of this problem okay look at this again a non-zero values which is n square is my zero again what is the meaning of that n is my nil potent what is the meaning of that n is not diagonal matrix fine so n is similar to the diagonal matrix cancel n is not similar to the diagonal matrix correct option again they are talking about the linearly independent eigenvectors that means they are talking about the geometric multiplicity what is the characteristic equation characteristic equation is x square is 0 so what is the minimal polynomial minimal polynomial is either x or x square fine these are the minimal polynomial but you can see that x can never be possible because it's a non-zero so the minimal polynomial is x square but it has a 3 cross 3 matrix so what is the meaning of that so can you find the rank of this matrix n maximum can be 3 because n cube is a non-zero n cube may 0 or may not be 0 but n square is a 0 that's a correct so the minimal one is 1 fine so can you find the nullity of this what is the nullity of this n so it's a 3 minus 1 2 and it's a 0 but nullity is my 0 is my here fine but you can see this can never be 0 because it's a non-zero so it means this minimum value must be 1 so what is the meaning of this it's a maximum number of li vector that is basically the geometric multiplicity of the eigens value so maximum number of the eigens values are my 2 but he said 3 it has one non-zero eigenvector definitely one non-zero eigen 
vector. If you can, if you think about like a zero, then still it has a one non-zero eigenvector lies in between here. So the geometric multiplicity always defined for the eigens vector. So the correct options are my A and C are my correct options. Look at this another one. A cube is my minus of i. Which of the following statements are my correct? Okay, so if I write this characteristics equation, so this is my minus 1. What is the eigenvalue of this? Minus 1, minus omega, minus omega square. What is omega is? It's a complex unity root, complex root of unity. Fine. So you can see over the complex C, it has distinct value. So if it has a distinct eigenvalues, distinct eigenvalues, it means this is my diagonal. So it is a diagonal over the C is the correct option. Now, if it is a diagonal matrix, then what? how you can write that? It is my minus 1, minus omega, minus omega square, rest values are my 0. So that means it's a, if it is a uh, diagonal matrix, then you can always say it is a triangular matrix over the C. Fine. Now, A is a non-singular. Why? Because you can see if eigenvalues are here, then what is the determinant of this? It's a minus omega cube. It is minus 1. So it means it is a non-singular. It also has the correct answer. A has a three distinct eigenvalue, but it is not given that. Is it over R or over C? It means you can think on the both side. Fine. So how you can think about that? If I consider the matrix A as minus of i, fine. This is my here. And clearly say it satisfied this property. But what is the eigenvalues of this? Eigenvalues are my minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So it means over the real, it is not distinct. But over the complex, they are distinct. But it is nothing is given to you. So it means this option is my discard option. So the right answers are B, C and D. If they are talking about over the C, it is over the C, then they are the distinct eigenvalue. But over the R, it is not correct option. Okay, look at this another one. What is given to you? S is a mapping such that S apply on the V is my alpha of V. Fine where alpha is my real number and a non-zero. Capital T is a mapping such that uh, V1, V2 are the set of the linearly independent vectors of the T. Then the matrix T, T minus S, upper triangular diagonals and so on. Very simple. What is the meaning of that? If you look about SV is equal to alpha V, what is the meaning of that? Every non-zero vectors because if I take V as a non-zero, so every non-zero vector, what is that? Is my eigenvector. Fine. So what is the meaning of that? This vector V is my scalar matrix. Fine. Or you can say the eigenvalue is my alpha. So the scalar value is my alpha, alpha, alpha. How many sizes? Alpha, N. So this is my scalar matrix. Fine. Now, because it's a scalar matrix, what is the meaning of that? Is it a diagonal matrix? Yes, you can see. No, you, you can't say, okay, uh, is that matrix? They are talking about the T. We are not focused on the S. Then you can define the T matrix. T is the mapping of the here. So I can consider this is my X, which are the elements of the V's. Okay, so which is the elements of the V. I can apply this as alpha I can take on this is my here fine and since vi's are my linearly independent eigenvectors so this means this matrix associated are my diagonal because if 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 you have the n linearly independent eigenvectors the corresponding matrix is called is said to be diagonal so this is my correct option the matrix T is not necessary diagonal cancel out. The matrix T with respect to is diagonal correct, but T minus S. Now, 
what is that t minus s you can see it is lambda minus v of this one so since alpha is my non zero okay so what is that it is again a scalar if i consider n is my 2 is r2 to r2 then this is my here fine so what is the meaning of that this is my diagonal matrix fine so t minus s is also a diagonal matrix it's not diagonal matrix gets so that is a very simple you just look about the definition of this linearly set of linearly independent eigens vector okay look at this another one for firstly i can think n is my 2 cross 2 lambda and a non zero vector v such that for some positive integer k so i can think about k is my 1 then i is my which of the following are always okay i can take k as a 2 otherwise it's a k minus 1 is a 0 i can take k is my 2 so what is the meaning of that a minus lambda i square v is equal to 0 this is given to you and for positive i is there which of the following is always 2 okay look at this k is my 2 r for some this is my for some positive integer this is r for r is my positive integer so i can return this number as r and a minus lambda i of k i can return this number now k is my 2 so this value is my 0 so this number is my 0 if you apply 0 on this side it will be 0 for all the positive integer here fine so this is my correct state look at this second one so it means your target is to prove a minus lambda i of power 1 is my 0 whenever this condition hold what is the lambda lambda is any real number so i can see lambda is my 0 so what is the meaning of that a square v is my 0 and a v is 0 that's the meaning of this statement okay so if i consider this is my because 0 is the eigenvalue so i can consider one of the eigenvalue is my 0 so here fine what is my a square a square is uh, 0 0 0 fine then clearly says a square v is my 0 so this example satisfied now a v is 0 so if i consider here i if i take v is my any of the vector like 1 comma 0 fine so what is the answer of this it is my 0 and 1 so clearly says which is my non zero but he said zero this option is cancel out fine now what is the meaning of that if now if i move this portion now lambda is the eigenvalue of this so what is the meaning of that okay now a minus of square v is equal to zero clearly says lambda is the eigenvalue of the matrix a why because by using the generalized eigenvalue property eigenvalues property so this is also the correct answer then a minus sorry it is an injective a is not injective so what is the meaning of the injective you have to prove 1 1 you have to prove it is a not 1 1 not 1 1 means that is a nullity is my non-zero if you prove nullity is non-zero it means it is not 1 1 so how you define the nullity we can start from here okay so if lambda is the eigenvalue of a what is the meaning of that a minus lambda i of v is my 0 fine so what is the meaning of that v is belongs to the kernel of a minus lambda i that is is nothing but my nullity of a minus lambda i so what is the meaning of that nullity of a minus lambda i is my non zero if nullity is my non zero what is the meaning of that this is is not injected fine is not one one 
because if nullity is zero then you can say it's a one one but here is a non-zero it means it's a not a one one so this option is also correct option so right answers are a c and d are my correct option okay look at this another one a four cross four matrix says that rank is my two and a cube is equal to a square such that a square is my norm zero fine and a is not diagonable it is already given that fine so can you write the equation of this so i can say x cube minus x square is zero or i can return as x cube of here fine then can you write the minimal polynomial of this this is my characteristic equation or characteristics polynomial that then what will be my what will be my characteristics polynomial either x either x minus 1 or it will be x into x minus 1 or it will be x square into x minus 1 but clearly says this this and this is not possible why because a is my not diagonable because it means the minimal polynomial is not linear factor fine remember if minimal polynomial is a linear factor then it is a diagonable and converse is if a is not diagonable then it is not a linear factor so what is the meaning of that minimal polynomial is my x square into x minus 1 so i can return minimal polynomial is x square into x minus 1 so if this is there what is the jordan block corresponding to this what is that the degree is my 2 what is the meaning of 2 is okay i can write this number as x minus 0 power 2 x minus 0 of 1 so what is that it means it means at least there exists one cross one block of eigenvalue 0 at least one cross one sorry at least two cross two block of matrix 0 so what is that it's a two cross two this must be the one block and what is the one meaning there exists a one cross one block of eigenvalue one so i can return this eigenvalue as here fine so it, it means this is the jordan block of this no it's a four cross four it's a three cross three so it must have some another value but you can see there is a one block of this fine so if there is a one block of this so you can see this is the right answer now look at that a square minus a is non-zero so basically your target is to prove a square minus a is my zero or not fine so it clearly it is not be there because this is the case of this if this happens what is the meaning of that it this happens it means the factors are linear but it is my not diagonable so it means this can never be happen so this is a tensor there exists a vector v such that a v is a non-zero but a square v is a zero okay now i have found the minimal polynomial is my this so it has a three degree but we have a four degree so it means there is a one more eigenvalue so either it will be x cube into x minus one or it will be x minus one square fine because the characteristics polynomial having the root 0 and 1. If this will happen, because a square is my non-zero, because a square is my non-zero, so what is the rank of this matrix A? It will be 3. So, but the rank is a 2. So, this option is cancel out. Now, this option. Fine. Algebraic multiplicity of 0, I can return x minus 0, is my what is that? It's a 2. It's sorry. Yes, it's, it's a 3. If you write here, geometric multiplicity of 0 is not equal to 3 because I already proved that the minimal polynomial is here. So, what is the meaning of that? If AM is not GM, what is the meaning of that? You can see is the is the correct option. 
and this option is again cancel out because this option is nothing but you can write as x cube into x minus this is not the characteristics polynomial so the, because you can see this is the simple correct option oh, no this this is there this is a minimal polynomial this is the characteristics polynomial as well sorry this is also a right answer so a c and d are my correct answers of this problem little bit calculation for this problem okay which are the following matrix have the jordan form of this okay firstly you can write this in the jordan okay this is the jordan block okay we have to look about the options so what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of that it has the eigen value 0 it's a 2 cross 2 it will be like here and it is 1 0 is a separate fine so what is the meaning of that you can you have to look about this so find the minimal polynomial of the given options so what is that it's a nilpotent matrix this is a nilpotent matrix this is a nilpotent matrix this is also the nilpotent matrix so how you can do that what is the characteristics equation of this matrix if i consider this is my a what is the eigenvalues of this 0 0 0 fine what is the eigenvalues of this now you can find the either you can find the rank or the geometric multiplicity of 0 how you can find the geometric multiplicity of 0 3 minus rank of this so what is the rank of this is 1 it's a 2 so it has the 2 cross 2 so it may be the possible answer what is the geometric multiplicity of 0 is 3 minus 1 again 2 fine what is the geometric multiplicity of the 0 eigenvalue 3 minus what is that it's a rank is my 1 so 3 minus 1 2 fine what is the geometric multiplicity of the 0 is 3 minus rank is my 2 which is 1 which is not equal to geometric algebraic multiplicity of this 0 so this option is cancel a b and c are my correct options otherwise you may think also like this way so we need this one fine so as we can see the given matrix here fine now what is the minimal polynomial of is x cube and you can see a square will be my zero fine so check about the option whose minimal polynomial is my x square so clearly say a is my nilpotent matrix is a minimal polynomial x square b is a minimal polynomial x square c is also be there but d is not the minimal polynomial because the geometric multiplicity is my one so it can never be the power of one okay let x and y will be here such that of this okay which is trace is there so firstly i can find the value of that trace is 2x it can never be 0 why it's if i consider x is my 0 0 y is my 1 and minus 1 it clearly satisfied this property so what is the trace of this trace of this is my 0 but he said non zero it's a cancel fine now clearly says what is the matrix a if you remember this is my matrix a if i call it as a c1 this is my c2 column what is the c1 dot c2 what is the length of the c1 c1 c dot is 0 this will be my x square plus y square and x square plus y square is 1 do you remember do you remember which property is there yes this is my orthogonal matrix fine so matrix a is my orthogonal matrix so what is the meaning of that if this is there then a into a transpose will be i so look at that this option is correct option now since this is the orthogonal matrix what are the eigenvalues of this one and minus one they are the distinct eigenvalues once they are the distinct eigenvalues it means this is my diagonal matrix so it is a diagonal matrix also the correct option look at this one for any n i can see n is my one what is the a1 is cos theta so that's a cos theta so this is nothing but my x this is nothing but y this is minus y this is x which is same of the a so this is also the right answer or 
you can see this is the orthogonal matrix so a raised to power n is also my orthogonal matrix and whose elements are my here so the right options are a c and d are my correct answers okay look at this another one first of all is a n so i can simply take n is my 2 cross 2 where is okay such that a raised to power k is my what is a k k is my any positive integer is a greater than 1 I can choose k is my 2 fine what is given to you a square is my i fine so what is that this is nothing but what kind of this matrix a square is i that is called as the idempotent so once it is idempotent matrix as I already told you in the first or second example it is diagonable over r and c both so first option is the correct option fine because every uh, every idempotent matrix is a diagonable now what is the option of this if i take k is equal to 2 it means a is only a a will be my 0 fine but clearly says a can okay can you say a is my 0 1 is not the eigenvalue 1 is not the eigenvalue okay what is the characteristics equation lambda square minus 1 is 0 since 1 is not the eigenvalue so it means it, it has the eigenvalue of this so that means eigenvalue is my minus 1 so I can think about the one eigenvalue here this value can you say this no is it a square is i no okay okay fine so since what is the meaning of this a square a is equal to 0 it means this has eigenvalue this 0 means 2 cross 2 it has 0 comma 0 eigenvalue but we get at least one eigenvalue which value is minus 1 so this option is cancelled look at the c option what will happen if i take k is equal to 2 it is my simple trace of a trace of a is my minus and n is my minus 2 now clearly says that what is the meaning of that if i can simply take 0 0 minus 1 this is my a fine if because 1 is not an eigenvalue it satisfied this property so what is that trace of this a is my minus 2 fine now look at that if i take k is equal to 2 it is my a of minus 1 fine so what is the eigenvalue of the a eigenvalue of the a is my minus 1 what is the eigenvalue of the a inverse 1 over minus 1 what is the eigenvalue of this again minus 1 this is also minus 1 which satisfied this property so the right answers are a c and d are my correct answers look at that you just try to look at the very simple complex problem to the simple one by taking the values of the n and k okay look at this another one consider the matrix a and b a and b are similar you basically talk about the diagonalization canonical form and here okay look at this one what is the eigen values of a 2 2 3 okay so we can find the geometric multiplicity of 2 it's a 3 cross 3 minus rank of i can subtract the 2 from here 2 0 0 minus 1 0 0 1 so clearly says what is the rank of this these two elements i can cancel out rank will be my 2 so it is my 1 so what is the meaning of that geometric multiplicity is not equal to algebraic multiplicity so this option is cancelled clear now how you can see now you have to write the jordan form b is the jordan form of a okay how you can write the because geometric mul multiplicity of okay uh, eigenvalues are 2 2 and 3 how you can write this jordan form very simple 2 2 and 3 are my eigenvalue so based on this eigenvalue can you write the jordan form of this matrix a very simple you can write as a jordan form of a is 2 appears 2 times so that's a this fine algebraic multiplicity of 3 is my 1 
so this is my this is my jordan form of the matrix a which is nothing but my b you can see about that so what is that b is that b is the jordan canonical form of the a is the right answer fine so what is the meaning of that what is what is that it means a and b are my similar matrix fine so if it is my similar matrix. once it is a similar matrix it implies it has the same characteristics polynomial and it has the same minimal polynomial so this option is also correct so the right answers are a c and d are my correct options Okay, look at this another one. V is a vector space of degree less than or equal to 3. Capital T is the mapping which are defined for their derivatives. Okay, that's a transformation is given to you. What are the basics of degree less than or equal to 3? 1, x, x square, x cube. Now you can define the matrix. Always like here. This is a 1, x, x square, x cube. So what is that? What is the derivative of one? Zero. Zero is the constant, so I can return it as this one. X. What is the derivative of x? Is one, which is a constant, which is a linear combination of this one. X square. Derivative of this is a two x, so that's a coefficient of the x is two, while rest are my zero. X cube is three x square. Rest values are my zero. T is invertible. You can see what is that? Diagonal entries are my zero. What is that? T is nothing but my nilpotent matrix. If it is a nilpotent matrix and it's a non-zero, so it is, is it a diagonalizable? No, it is not diagonalizable. So you can see this is a diagonal matrix, cancel out. T is a, uh, zero is the eigenvalue, yes. All the eigenvalues are zero, correct. T is invertible. Can you say T is invertible? How you can... I, I think it's a clear, quite clear. What are the eigenvalues? What is the determinant of this? Determinant of this is a 0. So what is the meaning of that? T is my not invertible. So if T is not invertible means this option is also cancelled out. There is a basis with respect to T is a nil potent. Yes, T is a my nil potent. There, there is a basis of this. So the right answers are my B and C are my correct options. Okay. And I can consider that 2 cross 2. What is my a square is equal to a implies? a square is equal to a implies a is my involutory matrix. Fine. If it is an involutory matrix, then what is the meaning of that? a is my diagonalizable over R and C both. Fine. Also, you can remember it. Whenever a square is equal to a, then rank of a is always equal to the trace of a and rank of i minus a is always equal to the trace of i minus a. Otherwise, you can see always the, what are those? Can you say eigenvalues? Eigenvalues are either 0 or 1. Fine. Rank trace are same, rank are same. A is a diagonal matrix, involutory are always diagonal entries with the elements 0 and okay, with the diagonal entries 0, 1. Here is that we have to check whether the diagonal entries are 0 or 1. We all know involutory matrix are diagonal. Okay, now if I consider any of the matrix with a non, okay, 1, 1, 0, 0. Fine. Then you can see A square is my A. Fine. Then A square is my A. Fine. Then eigenvalues are my 1 and 0. Is it a diagonal matrix? Yes, this is a diagonal matrix. Why? Because the eigenvalues are unique. So this is a diagonal matrix also. So you can see how you can say it, it is a diagonal matrix. That's true. So, but yes that's fine okay so i think all these a b c d are the right answers uh, otherwise how you can prove that these are the standard results but you can see the non-zero values are my one so the rank of this matrix a is my one trace is also one what is the i minus a rank you can simply see i minus a always remember 
you can see the rank of the matrix is my number of non zeros eigens values fine so all are my correct options for this example okay nb represents my dimensions null space dimensions of the null space that is my nullity okay a minus 2i is equal to 2 a minus 4i is equal to 1 and rank of a i can again written as 0 minus i is equal to 3 so corresponding to this i can return as nullity of a minus 0i is dimension is 4 cross 4 so nullity is my 1 so as i mentioned you what is a nullity represents geometric multiplicity so what is the eigenvalue is 2 it is my 2 geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue 4 is my 1 geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue 0 is my 1 and you can see the sum of the geometric multiplicity is 4 which is nothing but the size of the matrix what is the meaning of that the matrix is diagonal fine so matrix is not diagonal cancel out what are the eigenvalues 2 4 0 geometric multiplicity is 2 so i can return 2 as a 2 times so 0 2 4 are the eigenvalue correct determinant is my 0 correct trace is my 8 correct a b and d are my correct options i hope you can like my video okay so you can see very simple you can simply count the geometric multiplicity and if sum of the geometric multiplicity is my 4 or size of the matrix then it's a diagonal okay which of the following is are my diagonal so you can see the eigenvalues are which are my distinct over the r so they are fine what is that you can see this is my just like say jordan block one eigenvalue is one now you all know if the diagonals here you can write the characteristics equation this is my this and plus of one is my zero so what is the eigenvalues is a one plus minus iota but it's a complex number but we are moving on the r so it is not a diagonal matrix look at the another one this what is that it's a symmetric also it is a real so real and symmetric matrix is always be a diagonal matrix so this is the correct option what is that this is a nilpotent matrix every nilpotent non-zero nilpotent matrix is not diagonal so this option is also cancelled so the right answers are my a and c are my correct options of this problem so a and c let a be the 3 cross 3 with the real entries which of the following statements are correct a is necessary diagonable over r okay remember that as i mentioned in the earlier whenever you are working over the r you have to prove your eigenvalues are real and distinct if you are working over the complex number then your target is to prove this are my distinct now clearly says a is necessary so if i simply take a is my identity matrix then eigenvalues are my one one and one fine so every so clearly say this is my non diagonal fine so this option is because it said necessary if has a distinct eigenvalues then it is a diagonal over r so real and distinct real and distinct correct if a is my distinct eigenvalues there is no real given but now it's talking about the c it is a correct if all the eigenvalues are non-zero then it is a diagonal over the c if all the eigenvalues are my non-zero fine how you can see if the eigenvalues are non-zero uh, fine again you can consider nilpotent matrix is a 3 cross 3 fine this is the nilpotent matrix so nilpotent matrix is not diagonal over r or c 
so it dismiss this option is cancelled so the right answers are my a b sorry b and c is the right answer of this problem okay look at this another one v is the vector space of the degree at most 3 so i can consider the basis x x square x cube then is the differentiation okay so then you can define the matrix t 1 x x square x cube 1 derivative will be 1 derivative will be 0 0 x derivative will be 1 x square will be 2x sorry it's 1 and x cube will be 3x square fine so again see that this is a nilpotent matrix which is implies not a diagonal matrix so it's a is an l this a is an nilpotent matrix what is the rank of this matrix if i consider this is my t or call as a, a what is my rank of this matrix is my 3 the rank is my 2 is a cancel out now you have to define the jordan block so how you can define the jordan block you can write the characteristics polynomial of the a in terms of the x is a nilpotent it is my x raised to power 4 fine now you can define the uh, minimal polynomial so minimal polynomial is either x x square x cube or x raised to power 4 then how you can define that now we are talking about the zero so i can define the geometric multiplicity of zero so that i can check the power so it's a 4 cross 4 minus rank of a minus 0 y so a minus 0 y is still a rank is my 3 4 minus 3 is my 1 so geometric multiplicity of the 0 is my 1 it means the it has only it has only one block so you can see that this 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 as a one block so this is my correct option so a and d are my correct answers of this problem okay look at this one characteristics polynomial jordan of oh, okay so minimal polynomial is given to you x minus 3 x minus 2 square fine so what is the meaning of that now you can see degree of x minus 3 1 fine what is the degree of x minus 2 is so what is that it means it means there exists at least what is the one is one at least one block of one cross one for eigenvalues three and what is the meaning of that there exists at least one block of degrees my two so two cross two for the eigenvalues two and rest blocks have the degree less than equal to two and the rest blocks has the degree less than equal to 1 that's the meaning of this so firstly we will see which one is not satisfied you can see at least one cross one block but it is what is the meaning of that it has a two degree block but maximum degree is my one so this option is cancelled out so it has a one block because it's a zero so this is a one this is a one this is a one this is a one fine this is a one this is one what is that degree of the 2 is my 2 so this is my one block fine at least this now this is this is not because it is also one so this is my one block fine what is the degree of this degree is my 3 but we need a degree as a 2 so this option is also cancel out now look at that this has a degree 2 at least 1 this has maximum degrees my 2 this is correct option look at this one this is my single so rest are my one block so this is also correct option so right answers are b and c so look at that there is no need to solve much calculation on the jordan block you just simply look at the options and then correct the answers okay t maps which are the following statements are true so we can write the characteristics equation plus 1 is 0 so what is that this is 1 plus minus root 3 iota over 2 
or we can call as the omega and omega square where omega is the cube root of unity fine now look at the options a is invertible you can see it is a which satisfied this can you what is the determinant of this matrix t it is omega cube which is non zero so this option is correct option t minus a is not invertible so this is the eigen values of capital t so what is the eigen values of t minus i omega minus 1 omega square minus 1 and since omega is okay is not invertible so you can find the determinant of this omega minus 1 omega square minus 1 this is my omega is a complex number which is again a non zero so this is also the correct option t has a real eigen value you can see that it is not correct option t cube is equal to minus of 1 this is the t square so if i multiply this uh, okay uh, lambda is the eigen value of the t so lambda cube is the eigen value of t cube so this is the eigen value what is the omega cube we all know it's a one what is the omega of six omega of six is also i can return this number as of one fine but he said minus one is it possible because we have to think about the matrix so if i clear this one now it is lambda square plus one is zero it is given to you fine so if i multiply this by lambda plus one any no number zero so what is the meaning of that it is a cube minus b cube zero so what is that it is my uh, i need a plus if i need a negative i need a plus sign so it is a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube is here so what is that lambda cube is my minus one is the correct option so a b and d are my correct answers okay m is a matrix given that one is an eigen value of the m it has the three eigen values one eigen value is given as a one which of the following is my correct statement now look at that it we, we all know for the minimal polynomial x minus alpha x minus beta power is say my m1 this is my m2 what is the alpha and beta these are my eigen values so if i correspond to this one is eigen value one second is my minus four so can you find the third eigen values you can see the sum of the eigen values will be my minus of two so this value will be my one so these are my eigens values fine now now which is the diagonal or not fine we can find the geometric multiplicity of 1 because minus 4 is a linear so 3 minus rank of i can subtract the 1 from this 0 minus 1 1 2 0 4 minus 2 G, uh, 1 minus 3 fine so what is the rank of this you can see if i found the determinant is a 0 minus 1 minus 6 plus of 8 is a minus 6 plus of 1 2 what is that it's a minus 2 plus 2 is a 0 so rank is 3 fine so rank is less than of the 3 so if i consider as a 2 because we can find a 2 cross 2 matrix which so determinates non-zero which is not equal to arithmetic algebraic multiplicity of 1 so it means it is not diagonable is the correct option so if this is not diagonable, it means they are not minimal polynomial. Because if the minimal polynomial is the linear factor, what is implies that? It implies it is a diagonable matrix, but we prove that it's not a diagonable. So it means this is the right answer. Now, what is the degree of this? Degree of this is my three. And what is the degree of this? If I if I multiply by m on the both side, what is that? It is one by four it is m square plus 3m the degree of this will be my 2 it means this does not divides my minimal polynomial which is not correct options or you can also think like this way i can solve this value as of this 
एम स्केयर प्लस थ्री एम माइनस फोर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो और इन टर्म्स ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यूज एक्स लैमडा स्केयर माइनस फोर इज जीरो सो वट इज दैट इट इज ए लैमडा माइनस वन लैमडा प्लस फोर विच इज अ लीनियर पोलिनोमियल इफ इज ए लीनियर पोलिनोमियल बट वी ऑलरेडी प्रूव दैट इट इज नॉट ए डायग्नल मेट्रिक्स सो दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो कैंसल सो द राइट आंसर्स आर बी एंड सी आर माई करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन वट इज गिवन टू यू करेक्टरिस्टिक्स पोलिनोमियल इज गिवन टू यू एज एक्स माइनस वन क्यू पिक द स्टेटमेंट बिलो ए इज नेसेसरी डायग्नोबल लुक एट द वर्ड ऑफ नेसेसरी दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज कैन यू थिंक अबाउट अगेन वट आर द आइगन वैल्यूज वन 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 सो वट इज दैट इफ आई कंसिडर द मैट्रिक्स ए इज माई आइडेंटिटी विच इज माई नॉट डायग्जेबल फाइन यू कैन इजली प्रूव दैट एल्जेब्रिक मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ वन इज थ्री विच इज नॉट सेम एज दैट ऑफ जोमेट्रिक मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ दिस सो ए इज नेसेसरी इज द कैंसल आउट सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो कैंसल आउट बिकॉज इफ द मिनिमल पोलोनोमियल इज माई नॉट अ लीनियर फैक्टर एक्स माइनस वन क्यूब इज not linear factor fine degree is not 1 it implies it is my not diagonal variable matrix but he said it's a diagonal this cancel out characteristic polynomial of the a cube so eigen values of a is my 1 1 1 eigen value of the a square is 1 1 1 so what is implies that characteristic polynomial of the a square is my this one so this is also the correct option if a has exactly two jordan blocks if a has exactly exactly find so minimal polynomial of this is my here a characteristic polynomial here what will be my minimal polynomial either x minus 1 either x minus 1 whole square either x minus 1 cube fine now we already proved that the minimal polynomial is not x minus 1 cube this is a cancel out fine again x minus 1 is not possible why because it has a two jordan block from here we can get as only one jordan block so what is the meaning of that if x minus 1 so what is that if this is my minimal polynomial so it satisfy my kelly hamilton theorem also so this will be my zero fine and what is that this is my zero matrix so what is a zero matrix zero matrix is always my diagonal matrix if this is my diagonal it implies a minus i square is also diagonal so c and d are my correct options okay look at this again i can consider n is my 2 cross 2 fine and rank is my k k is not equal to n so i can see k is my 1 so the rank of this matrix is my One, fine. Lambda is a non-zero. Is the eigen value of the m such that this condition hold? So it means if I prove k is equal to one, this is my target. Fine. Now I can choose the value of the m as. So the simplest way is rank is my one. So the last column is zero. This value will be one. It's a two cross two. There is a one u such that this is satisfied. So I can simply take one and zero. then i can found the value of this pair what is the u star is a uh, this is the hermitian matrix okay so 1 0 0 what is the eigen values of this eigen values of this is my 1 0 but lambda is my non 1 so it means non 0 so lambda is my 1 this is 1 0 what is the transpose of this is my here so what is that 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 What is that? Is a zero. So what is the rank of this zero matrix? Zero. Therefore, that this matrix has also the rank zero. So this is the only option which satisfied B and C are my cancel. Now, look at this last option. Now, because it is firstly for the n is equal to one, it satisfied. Then for the n is equal to two, m minus of this into m minus of This. So if I open this, it's a m square minus lambda is a constant. If I multiply this like of this minus 
lambda u u star of m minus minus plus lambda square u u star of square now what is that m of u is my lambda of u this is my lambda of u so this is m square minus lambda square u u double star i can again write m as a here because this is my vector column vector unit column vector so this is again lambda square u u star fine plus because it's a unit vector so u into u star is nothing but my u u star square is nothing but my here so this is cancel out now you can see this is the same value so a and d are my right answer of this problem okay i can consider again is a 2 cross 2 n is my greater than 2 which of the following statement is true for every n okay first option there exists a matrix a and b such that this property is satisfied clearly say it is not satisfied because if i taking a trace on the both side what is the trace of the one i is a 2 cross 2 it is my 2 so we all know what is the trace of a b it is nothing but trace of b a so if i open this it's a zero it's a cancel out b fine so trace of a b and trace of a cancel so zero is equal to two which is not possible so first option is cancel out a b is equal to b a for every for every so if i consider a is my identity matrix b is my any matrix such that this property hold so you can think about any of the a which is much easier for you fine i can take eigenvalue zero so this property is satisfied fine then a is so a, a is diagonalable so i can think this is my a because we know this is not a diagonalable this is not diagonalable but b is equal to i is not if and only if a is also dag so again you can see this is a nilpotent matrix so nilpotent matrix is again a not dag so then if and only if so converse is still not cancelled if a b and b a have the same minimal polynomial so how you can define the same minimal polynomial mm. how you can define a b and b a have the same minimal polynomial okay you can think about here a and b is this such that a b and b a have the same no, a and b are my 2 cross 2 matrix such that a b and b a have same minimal polynomial can you think about a b and b a so that it becomes same minimal polynomial okay okay the same example here clearly says if i take b is equal to i a is my this then this both are satisfied fine but what is the minimal polynomial of this minimal polynomial of this is my x square but what is the minimal polynomial of the identity matrix x minus one which are not satisfied so the right answer is and this is the standard result a b and b a have the same eigenvalue always so the right answer is only my d is the correct answer okay again the same meaning is a minimal polynomial is given to you fine what is the meaning of that it means there exists at least one what is the size is two uh, sizes here so at least one block of degree of this is my 2 so at least one block of the 2 cross 2 for the eigenvalues 2 so at least one block you can see there is no block of the 2 cross 2 all are my single block cancel out this is the one block one no this is th this is the degree 3 block because of this one but what is the degree of this degree is my 2 so this option is cancel out what is that this is my single element this is single element this is my one so this is my degree two and rest of the 
have the degree less than or equal to 2 which satisfied this one this is the one at least one block has degree so this is also the correct options a and b are my right answers always remember jordan block you can solve it very quickly okay look at this one x is the collection of all those c such that this property is satisfied a is any 3 cross 3 real matrix fine okay this is given to you and we all know this is always be similar to a fine now what is that it means that so if this is my triangular matrix fine what does it means that a must be triangular matrix because they are similar so a must be triangular matrix but this is any 3 cross 3 i can consider 1 2 3 4 9 7 8 0 okay it is not a triangular but it is always satisfied so it means it is a phi is my is it a correct option can you find a c which is a ca can you find a c which is always satisfied this property it may or may not be true so this is always a phi now if x is equal to phi what is what does it means so it means a is my triangular matrix if a is my triangular matrix that means it has some like of this rest values either may be there or like of this what is this it means it has diagonal y over the c because the uh, they have the distinct eigenvalues why they are the distinct because it is my 3 cross 3 so at least at least one root is my real for the characteristics equation so this is my real rest may real or if if a complex number then occur in the pairs so that means it's a diagonal over r but it is not diagonal over r or c it is not given so it's a cancel out it has no real eigenvalue that's a wrong option because it's a 3 cross 3 at least one characteristic at least one root is my real so this option is also cancelled only right option is my c is the correct answer okay fx is a minimal polynomial of the 4 cross 4 then the rank of this okay a is my minimal polynomial fine so it must satisfies this equation or instead of this f of a is my minimal polynomial a is not a minimal polynomial f of x is minimal polynomial then f of a is minimal polynomial so it means f of a must satisfied by kelly hamilton theorem so this is my zero matrix so what is the rank of this zero matrix rank of this zero matrix is my zero so therefore rank of this f a is also zero a is my here then the minimal polynomial of a cannot be can only be degree 3 can only be degree 4 and so on okay so either a is my okay a cube firstly if you think about i is equal to a is equal to i which satisfied this property what is the minimal polynomial of this minimal polynomial of this is my x minus 1 which can only can only this options cancel out either a is equal to i or a is equal to minus i can you think any of the other example okay what are the eigenvalues of this if you look about here it will be lambda is power 4 fine so, but they are in the real so this will never be 0 so it will be lambda square minus 1 will be 0 so that means my plus minus 1 so it means if i consider it's a 3 cross 3 if i think about this matrix with only minus 1 so clearly says 8 raised power is my i because it's an even numbers so it's my here what are the eigens value but it is not okay this is in the form fine eigen values are plus minus 1 if i think about like this example fine so again these are the odd numbers so i can say 8 raised power 8 is 1 but this is neither of this form so the rest of the answer pending is my 
correct answer of this problem. Okay, is a three cross three. Is a three cross three, and one is the eigenvalues of the m. So one eigenvalue is my one. You can see the column sum is my two. Column sum is my two. Column sum is my two. So one eigenvalue is two also. Now, since we need three cross three, so the two eigenvalues are there. The third eigenvalue I can obtain from the diagonal sum. So it's a five. So it will be my two. Minus two is the eigenvalue. Cancel three is the eigenvalue. Cancel. Okay, m is divisible, and this is nothing but my geometric multiplicity. Eigen space is my geometric multiplicity. What is the geometric multiplicity of two? Three minus rank of a minus two i. So if I found a minus two i, it will be my minus of two minus one zero one zero minus one one one. Of one, so can you find the rank of this? I can quickly say it's a two cross two. So firstly, I can find the determinant zero plus one plus one of one plus one. Clearly, say it's a zero. It means rank of this matrix will not be a three. We have a two cross two one minor whose determinant is a non-zero. So three minus two is my one, which is not same as of algebraic multiplicity. It means it is my not diagonal. How you can prove this? Because you can see the geometric multiplicity of one. One appears only one times, and geometric multiplicity of two I already proved here as a one. So each has the dimension. One is the right answer of the problem. This is September twenty twenty two. Which of the following is a dimension subspace Jordan block? And here. Dimension. What is the meaning of the dimension? Is number of the L i vectors. How you can prove the L i? If I take alpha one of the first vector, alpha two of the second vector, alpha three of the third vector, and alpha four of the last vector, and your target is to prove each of the alpha is are zero. If I simply take z is my zero, fine. So sine zero zero, it will be alpha two plus alpha four is zero. If I take z is equal to pi, this is zero. Cos pi is my minus one. Alpha three is zero. It will be here. So what is implies that alpha two, alpha four is both are my zero. So it means this number is zero. This number is zero. Then if I consider z is my pi by two, sine pi by two is one. Sine of pi is zero. Alpha one is zero. And the rest of one is if I consider pi by three, this is my alpha three of two pi by three is a non-zero value, so it means alpha three. Or I can simply take pi by four, so it is one alpha one is zero. So all the values are zero. It means this vector is my li. So what is the dimension of this? Dimension is my four, but he said three. So dimension of this w is my four. Fine. Now. Think about the Jordan blocks. So you have the four vectors. You can write the matrix T of this is my sine z, this is my cos z, this is my sine of two z, this is my cos of two z. So what is the derivative of sine? Is cos. So it will be my here. Rest are my zero. Cos will be minus sine. So coefficient of the minus sine is one. It's a two cos. Two cos here, and it will minus of two sine. Fine. This is the matrix. So then, what is this? I can interchange them. I can, I can R three. I can like one zero 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 minus one zero zero. Oh, there is no need of this. You can see that there is a block. This is the block. Fine. This is the block. So how many are there? Or you can write this as you can interchange this. I can write cos as a firstly, so it will be zero minus one zero zero. I can interchange this value zero zero two zero, and here. So what is that? How many blocks are there? These are the unique elements. Eigen values are one minus one two minus two. So they are unique values. If they are unique values, it means they are diagonalization. It means this as a Jordan block of four elements. 
so they are the four block look at the last option the spam of this the span of this span is my vector space fine jordan block is my matrix so they will never be same of this so this option is cancel only right option is my last option okay again i can choose any as smallest as possible is a 2 cross 2 such that a of n square is 0 means a of 4 is 0 what is the meaning of that a is my nilpotent matrix fine so a nilpotent matrix will never be a diagonal okay non zero and is diagonal only if it is a zero as i mentioned you non zero nilpotent matrix will never be a diagonal the only nilpotent matrix is a diagonal is zero which of the following statements are equivalent a has n linearly independent eigen vector what does it implies it implies diagonalization so when it will be diagonalization only when a is equal to zero fine or otherwise you must remember these tips whenever you have the nilpotent matrix whenever you have the diagonalization matrix this is if and only if a is my zero because every non zero nilpotent matrix is not diagonalizable and only nilpotent matrix is a diagonalizable is a is equal to zero is the right answer okay look at this another one this is a june 2023 so a is a 5 cross 5 jordan block here which is written like this manner and this is e10 0 e0 e0 0 then the algebraic multiplicity what is the algebraic multiplicity of e that is the eigen value what is the eigen values of this 5 so this is the correct answer geometric multiplicity so how you can see that geometric multiplicity geometric multiplicity you can find it either by the minimal polynomial or you can find the number of the jordan block so can you count the number of the jordan blocks from here so this is the one this is the two and this is the three so the number of the jordan blocks is my three is the correct option now since geometric multiplicity of the e is my three which is not same as that of algebraic multiplicity of e so therefore a is not diagonal is the correct option so the right answers are a b and c are my correct answers okay a is my 3 cross 3 whose characteristic polynomial p of t is divisible by t square okay so what is the meaning of that if i return this as a x square it is divisible by something so it means the another number is x minus alpha now what is alpha alpha may be a real it may be complex but we all know complex number always in the pair fine but we have only one value so complex can never be there so it means what is that alpha is a real number so all the eigenvalues are real that's true because 0 0 alpha are my eigens values fine so this is my correct option a is a diagonal matrix so how you can prove that okay firstly eigen space eigen space means geometric multiplicity of the zero so can you find the geometric multiplicity of the zero how you can find the geometric multiplicity of zero so if i can because matrix is not given to you we have the eigenvalues zero zero alpha the rest values i can take any number say two zero zero so if i consider this is my a what is the geometric multiplicity of the alpha of the zero three minus rank of this what is the rank of this rank of this is my two which is one but algebraic multiplicity of zero is my two but geometric multiplicity is one but he said two dimension now since geometric multiplicity and algebraic multiplicity are not same so a is diagonal is also cancelled a cube is zero okay so it uh, okay if i simply take this example 
वट इज माई ए क्यू इज इट ए जीरो इज इट जीरो नो और यू कैन सी ए दिस इज ए दिस इज टेन अगेन इट इज अ नॉन जीरो सो यू कैन सी दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो कैंसल ओनली राइट ऑप्शन इज माई बी इज माई करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो दिस द वे यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल दिस डायग्नलाइजेशन एंड दी जॉर्डन फॉर्म आर we will see the next lecture on the complex analysis question in the same pace till then you can simply like and share my videos with your friends best of luck students happy learning